Um, normally, if I do tackle the subject of racism on this channel, I'll tackle the subject of it being white versus black. But not, don't for a minute imagine I subscribe to the notion that it can't go both ways, although there aren't numerous interesting strands of racism. As this lovely, stupid example suggests from a BBC staffer, here we have the Jewish Chronicle. BBC staff were ranted about the holo hoax and called Jews nasty parasites. Dawn Cuever, schedule coordinator at BBC Three, is understood to be under investigation by the BBC. I'm not quite sure how many people are watching BBC Three. It's not exactly the most popular of the BBC's numerous stations. I can't imagine it draws a huge audience share. I remember at one point it was it was cancelled and became an internet only side. But in any case. Let me enlarge this a bit so you can see her wonderful comments, which are truly vile. Um, thieves and parasites. The bigoted genocidal UKK and its hatch daughter, bigoted genocidal America, with a triple, typical, triple K in there. Yeah, right on there, Dawn. <laughs> Sock it to the man. Giving other people's land to a bunch of subcontinental... European melanin recessive Caucasian Japhetic Ashkenazi who have no none zero zilch blood connection to the land of Palestine or Israel historically not through their mothers or their fathers. You wouldn't really know where to start with that pile of nonsense. You really, you would not. It, it would take a week to sort of get to work on that pile of pure, pure bigger nonsense. I'm not going to pretend it's anywhere any less offensive than the kind of nonsense you find trying to characterise black people all as a group or compare them to animals or any such silliness. It's absolutely ludicrous, especially hollow hoax. Uh, that, that's, that, that goes into a special level of offensiveness that really, you know, it, it's, it's off the charts. Um... Her second comment, it's not the land of the Ashkenazi, that is the German Rhineland. <sighs> Dawn, uh, uh, please, shut up. <laughs> it is the land that belongs to the Palestinians, a sign as genocidal land squatting to so-called Jew, and she's put it in inverted commas, great. You can tell this woman's got an awful lot to offer to this dialogue, can't you? An awful lot of intelligent, wonderful points that will bring the temperature down. Stunning, stunning stuff she's offering. Um, just as a side note, when this comes up, here's a BBC article on some... Oh, I'm sorry, this is a New York Post article where they reported it. It's all got all around the world and made the BBC look really quite stupid. A BBC staffer is under fire for a string of anti-Semitic posts. Facebook posts in which you refer to Jewish people as Nazi apartheid parasites and called white people a virus. Let there be no mistake, this is really stupid, vile bigotry and racism. It doesn't matter if it's coming from black to white or white to black, it doesn't get a pass. It's stupid, it's unpleasant, and it dehumanizes people. I'm going to put the, um, the link from the Jewish Chronicle and the link from the New York Post. It's a bit slow to load for some reason, the New York Post link, as you'll notice. Here's the link from the, the, um, the BBC from a couple of years ago. Anti-Semitism 2021, likely the worst year on record. I'm sure, um, <laughs> considering you've got people like Dawn working from the BBC, I'm not really surprised. Um, Dawn's contributing a fair amount of anti-Semitism. They're all on her own with those comments. She's re repeating some of the worst and stupidest tropes you can hear about Jewish people endlessly there. It's quite offensive nonsense. In the first six months of 2021, there was a record spike in anti-Semitism. Dawn must have been on her Facebook account quite a bit then. Um, the Community Security Trust, the charity which monitors anti-Jewish incidents in the UK, now estimates that 2021 will likely be the worst year on record. I'm going to put that short article on as a link as well. Dawn apparently worked for Disney as well, as well as TV UK, which is a, a site that um, 
an online service that, well, it doesn't exactly attract a huge audience either, from what I remember. Disney, however, does. Uh, a truly vile set of comments, and I'm really hoping that Dawn is subject to an official investigation of some kind, because people like that, whether they're talking about black people, white people, Asian people, or anyone in these kind of ways, should not be in positions of authority or influence in the media.